with your boy Black OG. About to go in for some more madness, as you can tell by the title. This is sent by your boy <clears throat> Chris once again. Christopher. <laughs> I need to stop. Nah, but uh, <clears throat> let's go, man. So a Texas father is fighting for his beloved six-year-old son who is currently being forced to undergo sex change by his cruel mother. And they say women are all perfect. Women can't do no wrong. But here we are. <laughs> How is this even legal? That's what I'm trying to figure out. To be fair, women get away with a lot of le illegal things. But... Seriously, this is just beyond. Court documents show that whom the mother refers to as Luna only identifies as a girl when he's with his mother. According to the disturbing comment, the mother wants her son to undergo a chemical castration after his eighth birthday. Which, that shouldn't even be legal anywhere. Like, what in the world are you thinking? Uh, that's the only problem with transgenderism that I have. That's the only problem that I have with transgenderism is when they start directing and aiming it at freaking little young kids. And then you have some of these women's out here changing their son's gender like at even younger ages putting like little tutus on them and stuff it's disgusting but no one says anything James father claims that when the boy is with him he consistently wears boys clothing violently refuses to wear girls clothes at my home and identifies as a boy yeah uh he probably gets yelled at or get a whooping or some sort when he's at the mom's house and tries not to wear girls clothes or whatever. I can just imagine it. I can imagine the woman having an attitude. I can imagine her yelling. But um, I don't know, man. This is just beyond disgusting and it shouldn't even be legal. But since women are privileged and women can do no wrong, since women can basically get away with almost anything, you know, we're just going to ignore it. <clears throat> Meet James, a healthy six-year-old American boy. Okay. The father has reportedly been legally prohibited from talking to his son about gender and sexuality from both scientific and religious perspectives so wait he's they're not he's not allowed to <laughs> he's not allowed to freaking explain these things to his son what kind of shit is that what unless i'm retarded in interpreting this wrong once again and from seeking to address uh and from seeking to dress his son in boys clothes instead he is required to offer both girls and boys so not only does okay so that's messed up the mom wants his son to be a girl not only that but she also wants him to pay for all the freaking for the girls and boys clothing i i just can't believe what i'm reading man i'm sorry he is required to offer both girls and boys clothing, although he claims that his son consistently refuses to wear dresses. And according to the report, the Federalist, the mother, is also seeking to require him to pay for the child's visits to a transgender affirming therapist and transgender medical alterations, which may include hormonal sterilization starting at age eight. Yeah, that's something she should be doing with her money. That she's stealing from him. But no, she's stealing his money. She's making him pay uh, for clothes. 
and for the thing that she wants. Like, what type of sense does any of this make? This is why guys shouldn't be getting married anymore. Like, seriously, what in the actual... This makes no sense at all. James was reportedly diagnosed with gender dysphoria by a gender transition therapist that was chosen by his mother, of course. Yeah, of course. Who is a pediatrician. The therapist notes reveal that James chose to identify as a girl when in therapy sessions alone with his mother. Yeah, probably because she'll nag him or abuse him if he, if he doesn't. But as a boy, when he uh, went alone in sessions with his father. So when they're in sessions, yeah, he's a uh, he's Luna when he's with his mom, and he's uh, I can't I can't remember his name already, <laughs> but he's uh, a boy when he's with his father, of course. According to the Federalist, thoughts are filled with the Dallas court system skin. Uh, skilled eyes of a therapist the child was presented two pieces of paper one with the word james and one with the word luna oh yeah james okay that's the name and asked to pick the name he preferred when the uh, appointment only included his mother james selected luna of course because like i said she probably abuses him and other stuff like that if she doesn't get her way or if she or if he decides to be like yo i want to be a boy or i want to wear boys clothes <clears throat> the name and gender he uses as his mother's home in his first grade classroom okay just make sure i read I read that right when the appointment was only with his father however james pointed to the boys to the boy named James, not the girl name. Yeah, of course, because that's what he actually wants to be. But this is this is just crazy. It just kind of makes you not want to have kids as well, you know. Because let's say you don't even get married to the woman, but she just ups and decides she wants to turn your son into a girl. Uh, there's not really much you can do about it or say about it because my body, my choice, apparently. And the thing about that, you know, I'm getting tired of that. Women say their body, their choice, but what about our wallet, our choice? Uh, if you want to have our baby and, uh, and we don't, we shouldn't have to pay for it. You should be completely responsible regardless of your situation. Uh, regardless your income or my income, but nope. But uh, the father has obtained eyewitness accounts from family, friends, and religious leader of all whom testified that they've never seen that young boy attempt to identify as a girl. Yeah, because they're not. He's probably not around. His mom, abusive mom. Honestly, this lady should be behind bars. But like I said. Women have gotten away with worse or crimes. Based on these three occasions I've spent time with him, I'd say he acts and looks mistakably like a healthy six-year-old boy. Roe Bill level, or I don't know if I'm saying that right. Senior pastor of uh, Christ Church, Carlton. I am praying for James, an average six-year-old boy, a sweet natured intelligent lovable at this point particularly vulnerable young men caught up in a titanic clash of worldviews yeah it's kind of it's kind of sad that this boy or the father doesn't even, even get to choose the gender of their own kid and it's kind of disgusting that this woman has the audacity to force her son to be a girl and then force her, force the dad to pay for all the female things and the surgeries, which makes no sense. That's like me going, uh, that's like me going on a, 
bang spree, getting a bunch of rich females knocked up, and then expecting them to pay child support for 18 years. Yeah, right. <laughs> Laughable. Doesn't even make sense, does it? <laughs> uh, family friend Sarah Scott, whose son regularly pl play with James as fraternal twin brother who reportedly wants to be Want to be sensitive to James' wishes when it comes to gender. Also offered her perspective. His mother came to pick up boys. Uh-oh. Take him to his brother's soccer game. Remember Scott. He hugged his dad. Said, I love you. Refuses to go to soccer game as a girl with mom and stayed with dad. Yeah, probably because he doesn't want to get roasted by his friends or just males in general. And yeah, that's probably just the only reason that I can think of aside from getting girls, assuming he's straight. Honestly, I'm done with this trash. If you want to read the rest of it, there you go, homies. Hit the pause button. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this trash. Uh, let me know if you think she should be behind bars. She definitely should, but I don't know, man. Things need to change. Men need to wake up because once, once that happens, shit like this will never happen again. Peace out, guys.